Good day and welcome to Mission Control Houston, where the team of flight controllers is watching uh, systems aboard the International Space Station in support of the Expedition 31 crew aboard the space station. Uh, Commander Ola Kononenko, uh, along with his Russian colleagues Gennady Pedalka and Sergei Revin, and the uh, two NASA astronauts, Joe Akaba and Don Pettit, along with European Space Agency astronaut Andrei Kuipers, all uh, continuing through their day today as the space station orbits about 240 statute miles over the southern portion of South America after having completed several passes over the United States a little bit earlier in their day. It's been a very busy week for the crew aboard the International Space Station. Uh, Monday uh, started off with a lot of uh, cargo operations associated with the uh, Dragon SpaceX vehicle uh, that uh, successfully splashed down yesterday in the Pacific Ocean after a nine-day uh, mission. Uh, the crew uh, did a lot of cargo operations and uh, also completed some orientation for the new crew members, uh, which are uh, Joe Acaba, Sergey Revin, and Gennady Padalka, as they just arrived at the space station uh, in uh, mid-May. Tuesday was a very busy day uh, uh, as uh, Andre Kuipers uh, took microbial samples for the uh, return on SpaceX through various uh, surfaces on the interior of the space station. Uh, a lot of routine housekeeping and filter cleaning, uh, some periodic fitness evaluations to report to the doctors on the ground how the crew is doing. Uh, and again, more Dragon cargo operations. And uh, also the Russians uh, crew members were working with a new communication system installing cables and software for that system. Wednesday was a procedure review for the uh, final uh, activities with the Dragon as the crew got ready to uh, uh, take it off the space station using Canadarm2 and release it for re-entry. Uh, and they installed the controller panel assemblies on the Harmony uh, common berthing mechanism port that was used by Dragon to get it ready for hatch closure. On Thursday, the uh, crew did a stowage of final return items on the Dragon spacecraft, uh, including uh, those uh, samples uh, of uh, uh, this from the surfaces inside the space station. Uh, they closed the hatches uh, on the Dragon spacecraft and then uh, uh, demated it uh, from the Harmony module berthing port, uh, the Earth-facing berthing port, and then eventually released the Dragon spacecraft. Uh, while they were doing that, their Russian colleagues were replacing nine of ten different smoke detectors uh, that uh, are provide uh, monitoring capabilities inside the space station. And then the crew uh, monitored Dragon's re-entry and splash down in the Pacific Ocean, which all went very well. Uh, Joe Acaba also provided blood and urine samples for experiments that are looking at how nutrition and microgravity affect the human body and how they might be related to uh, long-term changes in eyesight for astronauts. It could be important for both future human space travel uh, for long distances and also for people here on the Earth who suffer from vision problems. Today is a, a final busy day for the crew on board the space station. That final Russian smoke detector replacement, uh, more work with the uh, new communication systems. Uh, the Russians also continued work with their new MOCART experiment that looks at how cardiovascular systems uh, react to microgravity. Uh, one of the many research activities uh, continuing on the space station, even in the face of all this uh, uh, res commercial resupply activity. Uh, Joe Acaba providing more samples for those human research facility experiments, looking at how the body reacts to uh, microgravity as well. Uh, Akaba also today supporting some uh, kinematics uh, as he looks at uh, uh, putting special markers in different places of his body, strategic locations, and then exercises on the treadmill system so that uh, uh, engineer, uh, engineers and doctors on the ground can help calibrate the exercise equipment uh, for Joe Okaba. Andre Kuipers today uh, worked with uh, rotating one of the Japanese experiments racks out of its uh, moorings for, for examination. And uh, Don Pettit is working with the Space Acceleration Measurement System that me measures the microgravity environments aboard the space station, and also with some adjustments to the intermodule ventilation system, the air ducts, into the uh, uh, JAXA Kibo module, that laboratory provided by the Japan, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. Don Pettit also is doing some sound level monitoring throughout the station, uh, and he is uh, doing some rearranging of some of the stowage in anticipation of the next cargo vehicle to the International Space Station. That'll be the Japanese HTV-3 cargo vehicle, which is scheduled to go up to the space station later this summer.
So all in all, a very busy week for the crew on board the station uh, and uh, a very full week that uh, is, and they're going to have an opportunity over the weekend to get some rest and relax before another week of heavy research operations next week.